Hey guys, you see this beautiful stream behind me coming down through the field? That's not a stream and it's not supposed to be there. That's flood runoff. Guys, here at Homesteading Off the Grid, we're expecting massive flooding on the East Coast this year. And I'm going to tell you why. It all has to do with the water table. This is not a gloom and doom, doomsday preppers scenario we're preaching here because we don't believe in such things. Uh, this is not... Um, uh, you know, one of those weather prediction, we know everything just like the old farmers or new farmers almanac thing because we don't believe in that either. Uh, we believe in science and the water table is a water table and when it drains appropriately and accordingly each year, you're going to be fine. But when you've had so much rain in one year that the water table doesn't drain completely and then you head into the winter months where there's normally much more precipitation than throughout the rest of the year barring spring, you're kind of cruising for a bruising. Let me walk you around the homestead here for just a few minutes and show you some places that for the last two years, when it would rain like this, and it's not raining hard today, but it's been raining consistently for about six hours. Some places that didn't have any extra, extra water, no standing water, no massive runoff. I'm going to show you what they look like this time around. Here's our pond, which is out in our front yard. It's a spring fed pond it's fed by a very small spring that is only maybe eight inches wide well let's have a look it now appears as if we have a secondary pond up here this spring literally is supposed to be you can see the main body of the stream here it's only supposed to be about half that wide and now anytime it rains for more than an hour this turns into another pond and again, the reason is because the rain, there's been so much rain this year that the water table has not been allowed to drain. So there's nowhere for this water to go. There's the stream that's not supposed to be there that I showed you in the opening segment of this video. And if we follow it all the way down to my driveway, we see that my driveway is a stream. This is our third year here, and we have never seen this. I mean, look at this. I'll get a close-up here. I mean, it looks... I mean, sure, when it rains, okay, it does this. But then when the rain stops, within an hour, it's gone. If it were to stop raining right now, based upon the way the water and the rain has acted all year, this water would still be here for three or four days. And look at that. Below the, that, that stream is not supposed to be here. That is a field, not a stream. Oh my heavens. That is not supposed to be there. This is just, this is a little overflow spillway. And many of you subscribe to our channel and follow us regularly. You remember we made a screen here to protect our fish, to hold our fish in for when the pond overflows. And here you're getting a view of the safety screen overflowing. And guys and girls, this has not been a hard rain. This has not been a hard rain at all. It's just the water table is full because of the massive amount of rain we have received this year. So now we're below the dam in the spillway of our pond. And this is just insane. Guys, I mow this with my mower. But it is a river now. Again, we're not spreading doom and gloom. We're not doomsday preppers. We're not preppers at all. And we're not predicting the weather. We're, I wanted to make this video to let you know if you're on the East Coast and if you're in the part of the, the country that has had much... Uh, more rain this year than usual you need to make sure you are ready heading into this winter for when the snow comes and then the snow melts and the rain comes and the ice which turns into water as that melts our water tables on the east coast at least here in central virginia where i'm recording this are completely full and there's nowhere for this water to go now here's where things really start to get scary you see all this water Here's our field, if you follow our channel, <clears throat> you've probably seen us flying planes and kites and everything over here. But look at this. We are now going uphill in elevation. And this is evidence of a completely full 
water table. Even as we go up in the higher elevations on our property, the water is not sinking here <clears throat> because the water table is completely full. Again, we're not pushing panic. We're not pushing fear. What I'm saying is, winter is on the way. Usually, at least in our part of the world, we've had some dry spells by now through the summer, through Indian summer, through fall. I mean, we have a river coming out of this wood line. There is no stream here. So we've not had any dry spells this year. We've had nothing but rain and rain and rain and rain. We were lucky all year to get five days straight of no rain. And even then it wasn't enough for the water table to go back down to normal levels. So here we are when it rains for five or six hours, there's just nowhere for the water to go. Okay, here's one of our other gardens that we use. We have a chicken run here. They're in there staying dry. But our chickens use this to come mess around in after gardening season. We are at least 30 feet above the pond, which is on the other side of the house. <clears throat> We're 30 feet above the pond level. This is a flat area, and we have standing water inside this garden on the flat area, several inches deep. Here we had some trees in there and pots. We didn't get out of there. But they're submerged in six or eight inches of water, and we are 30 feet, probably more. Oh, we're more than that. We're 40 or 50 feet higher than the pond because the water table is completely full. Now we've gone even higher in elevation. <clears throat> Down there's the pond. We're going to make our way up the trail to where this channel does our morning talk show known as the Morning Ramble. And you can see there's water even up here. Sheesh, I'm not even going to step in that, it's too deep. <clears throat> there simply is nowhere for this water to go. And again, in the past, when it's rained like this for six or eight hours straight, yes, we've seen water come through here. There's some natural springs up here. Again, the problem is that in years past, within hours of the rain stopping, the water has left. It's dried up because the water table is not full. It can stop raining right now. In two or three days from now, there will be water right here because this has been a case all fall and it started at the end of this summer. So again, guys, not spreading doom and gloom, not trying to predict the weather because that can't be done. But listen, if you live in a flood zone, if you live close to a river, if you live close to a stream, a pond, a lake, uh, if you live in an area, if you live at the bottom of a hill like us, and you've noticed the same thing this year, that there's been excessive standing water for excessive periods of time after the rain this year because it's rained so much, the water table is so full. What I'm saying is you do need to be prepared, not for the end of the world, but make sure you've got several weeks worth of food, clean drinking water, but even more importantly, make sure you're prepared to get out and leave and go somewhere if you need to. Anytime we look throughout history at disasters in the past, like Hurricane, Tr Tr Hurricane Katrina, sorry, it's cold. My lips are getting numb. I could blame the weather! Like those people on the Weather Channel! Ugh. But my lips were just cold. But even uh, more recently here with Hurricane Florence even down in the Carolinas, the biggest problem people face is the inability to leave if they need to. I'm telling you, this is just my, uh, the way I see it. The water table's full. When the snow comes later in the year, more rain, we can expect some heavy flooding on the East Coast because of all the rain we've had so far this year. Make sure you are prepared to leave if you need to leave. And thank you for joining us for this video. We hope the rain stops soon. And for now, I'm going to go inside and get warm. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And we'll see you for more next time here at Homesteading Off the Grid.